A sand sketch tribute, salt water will soon wash away. But for Susan Auerbach, the exercise brings a lasting calm as she reflects on her son Noah. Just trying to connect with his memory and his spirit when I'm at the beach. In life, Noah Langholz loved the beach and surfing. He loved his family. So when the outwardly confident college junior took his life by hanging in his parents' garage two days after running the 2013 LA Marathon, the unthinkable traumatic loss hit his mother like a tiger. Wave. We're not only full of grief, you know, the worst nightmare a parent can have, right? But you're you're full of shock. She chronicled her journey through the recovery process in a book, I'll Write Your Name on Every Beach. It's really for my fellow suicide loss survivors. Experts say after losing someone to suicide, recovery is all about baby steps, just being able to put one foot in front of the other. Susan compares dealing with grief to riding an ocean wave. Sometimes it's going to surge, sometimes it's going to ebb back into the ocean, and you know, you just kind of let it carry you. At book signings, many in the audience connect with her story. What Susan's book does is give voice to the sort of myriad of complex feelings that come about at different stages of grief. Auerbach writes honestly about Noah's life and his death, so readers might be able to see the different telltale signs. But most importantly, her message is of hope. You need to honor your grief and give it its time and give it its, its expression. Her writings in the sand, a timely testament of love. In Santa Monica, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.